Hi, it's Graham Walsh here, and today I'm just going to take you through a quick spot the difference game. And there's a reason why for this, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, the clue's on my t-shirt. Um, but uh, what we have here is two different McLaren race cars. They look the same, very similar colour, similar on the outside. Um, but inside they're very different, how they handle, how they go around a racetrack. So on the left here we have an Indy car, and on the right we have a Formula One car. So Formula One car, lots of twisty bends and, and uh, things like that on the circuit. Indy car can be very different on ovals. So they may look the same, but they're very different on the inside and they can do different things. So how does this relate to Microsoft Teams? Well, in particular, Microsoft Teams rooms. So we have two platforms now. Uh, back at Ignite uh, this year in September, Microsoft announced the renaming of collaboration bars to Microsoft Teams Room on Android, and then we have Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows. So what does this mean, and what's the difference? Well, there are some subtle differences. We've had uh, Android, it's a new platform. Uh, it was only released in 2019 at Ignite, actually. Uh, collaboration Rooms were, uh, were launched then. Um, and it's designed for the smaller space, huddle space, uh, small room is where I would say it's uh, you know ideal size for. Uh, it has an embedded camera, they're usually in a sound bar that would be mounted above the screen or below the screen. And it's going to have features like Cortana, Room Remote, um, and it's going to catch up with the Microsoft Teams on Windows. And what do I mean by that? Well, Microsoft Teams on Windows is a mature platform. We're on you know, major release version 4, Link Room System, Skype Room System, and now at Microsoft Teams Rooms. And these come in many different flavors. There's seven different partners in the ecosystem now, and they can go from right down from small room right up to a large room or complex rooms. We have good features such as high quality 1080p video, the ability to plug in your laptop and share with the HDMI ingest. Also very soon, we'll have multiple camera support. So having multiple cameras, maybe at the presenter and at the audience, been able to uh, see that on there. And don't forget, guest join access. So this is available today on the Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. Uh, and this is for WebEx and Zoom. Uh, it's not yet on Android. Microsoft are investigating that. And it's not on the public roadmap. And again, some of these features are on the public roadmap. You can view this at aka.ms forward slash MTR roadmap. And you can see all the features that are coming. Uh, so such as IP audio and video. So no more uh, the need to run long USB cables, things can be connected on the network. And again, the two platforms will have some similarity. So things like Cortana, Room, Room Remote will be there as well. So just a quick video, just to show you the differences, it's ever so slightly different uh, between Android and Windows. They will get some feature parity, but they'll also get their own identity, should we say. So Windows for those larger, complex, maybe uh, rooms, and Android for the smaller space, personal space, um, huddle offices uh, as well. So. They may look the same, but they are slightly different. So just make you aware that they're uh, the same name, but different platforms and different feature sets underneath. Any questions, let me know.